Hello, welcome to another fantastic day. Hope you guys are doing well today and ready to do some yoga. So go ahead and get your mat out. Um, that's pretty much the only thing you need is your mat and yourself, probably some water. I'm sure you'll want that if uh, if you have any of the other classes and you're like, man, she just kicked my butt. I don't think I'm gonna kick your butt today, but sometimes mid-session, the entire plan changes based on the energy that I'm feeling from you guys. So, um, I hope you guys are all doing well this morning. I'll give you guys like 30 seconds or so to get yourself set up and we will jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my watch set up so I know that I'm actually, you know, on time and not taking over your entire morning. So if you guys like to track yourselves, go ahead and start that now and then bring yourself down to the floor in a nice comfortable seat. Um, take a sip of your water real quick. Get that out of your way. And then just set it aside. So you can come into a nice comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, really long through your spine. Bring your hands into your lap in just a nice comfortable position. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Loop those shoulders up towards your ears, release them back and down your spine. You'll feel your hands glide back on your thighs just to uh, just a little bit. So go ahead and close your eyes. Bring a giant smile onto your face because you guys know what? It is going to be a good day. Smile, trick your brain, send all of those fun little chemicals all the way up there. So focus on our breathing right now. Big inhale in through the nose and out. Inhaling in. Exhale, let it go. Just feel yourself starting to get heavy into your mat. Feel yourself slowing down just for a moment, connecting inwards, noticing how that breath feels throughout your body. Notice you're starting to round in your spine here. Sit up nice and tall. Pull your chin towards the back wall so we can get alignment through our upper back and into our neck. Go ahead and bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And again, just notice what is moving as you breathe. Are you breathing from your chest? Are you breathing from your belly? Do you have a nice equal breath throughout your entire upper body? That last one's our aim, really utilizing our entire diaphragm, working those muscles, making sure that we are engaging the muscles that we should engage and not overworking other muscles. So if you are breathing from your chest, you're creating much more tension in your upper body, in your neck, your shoulders, your traps. And that's when we start to feel, you know, that lifting of the shoulders, that extra rounding forward and just pain, right? And so the goal is to help become a little more conscious of how we're holding ourselves, but also pay attention to how you're using your breath. Because when we become stressed or anxious or fearful, that's when we are short in our breath, our heart rate increases and everything starts to tighten up, right? So big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. With that next inhale, I want you to visualize moving all sides of your body with that breath. Inhale, fill your body up. Exhale, let it go. Pull your belly button into your spine as you exhale. We'll try that again. Inhaling in. Exhale, draw that belly button in. Great, we're gonna keep that rhythm going, but you can release your hands down to your knees here. And just focusing on sitting up tall, noticing where you're holding in tension. Maybe you're holding in tension in your lower legs. If you feel that tenseness, Focus on the thigh that you feel it in, or both legs at the same time. Flex those muscles, and then consciously let them go. It's gonna help you 100% know that you have control over where that tension resides within your body. So we use our brain, we use our breath, 
And the combination of those two things is truly magical in what you can do. One more big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. You can open your eyes or you can simply follow my voice. Totally up to you at this point. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Send your gaze towards the sky here. Exhale, release your hands down, slow and steady. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, floating those arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, palms together at the top. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the ceiling. Get a big stretch here. And as you exhale, release those hands, twist to the left. Bring that left arm behind you, right arm on top of your left knee. Look over your left shoulder here. Sitting up nice and tall, focus on those big belly breaths. Go ahead and open your lips just slightly, parting through the jaw, releasing that tension in your neck, into your trap, into that upper body. One more breath here. Great, inhale, bring those arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Look over that right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. Parting your lips just slightly, releasing through your jaw, through your neck. And just focusing on your breath. Don't forget to smile. One more breath here. Great, inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Big stretch, exhale, release them down to your side. Inhale, lift those shoulders to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. Great, inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna release that right hand down to the mat. You can keep that left arm lifted. You could always bring it to your hip, pull that shoulder blade back in place. If it's available to you, drop down onto your forearm, keeping your hands pointed towards the front of your mat here. Feel like you are turning your ribs towards the ceiling, turn your chest towards the sky. Focus on your breath here, big inhale in. And out. You choose where it's comfortable to put your neck, whether you're looking down at your mat, feeling a little more grounded, right neutral in the middle where we're not straining at all, or looking up to the ceiling for a little more energy. See if you can drop that arm over towards your ear just a little bit more. No straining at all. Just because I can do something doesn't mean that you can. We have different body mechanics and we need to honor that. So modify any pose along the way, so that way you're not causing any strain, any harm. So one more breath here, inhaling in and out. Inhale, engage your abs, come all the way back up, arms up and overhead. Exhale, release that left arm down this time. Right arm stays to the sky. You can come down onto that forearm if it's available to you. Turn your chest to the sky here. Inhaling in and out. Just really focus on feeling that stretch through the right side of your body. Lowering that right leg down. We have a tendency to want to lift that hip, lift that knee. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. Great, inhale all the way back up, arms up and overhead. Exhale, release them down to your side. We're gonna focus on just working through a little bit more of our neck, helping relieve again that upper body pain. So take a big inhale and close your eyes here. Exhale, drop that right ear to the right shoulder. And following your breath, start to roll it towards the center and then over to the left. 
Very careful as you roll to the back, not to just drop your head all the way back. Think of a little bit more of a half circle that we're making. And keep that rhythm going. Just getting a nice stretch through all sides of the neck here, but not compressing the neck or the nerves going towards the back. Use your breath. Make it feel like a nice fluid motion. When we come back to center, I want you to reverse directions. Left ear to left shoulder, to the front, to the right. And then you cross your shoulders and keep that half circle going. Sitting up nice and tall here. Inhaling in. Exhale as your head drops. One more. Great. Inhale. Sit up nice and tall. Just take one breath here. Great. Come on to all fours, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists right underneath of your shoulders into our tabletop position. How do our clothes even move, you guys? We didn't do a thing yet. <laughs> Have a nice flat back here. You can have your toes curled under if you'd like, or tops of your feet flat down. It's up to you here. Inhaling in, look forward, just past your nose. Exhale, let that breath go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, let it out. One more, just like that. In. Out. Great, inhale, drop that belly. Send your hips to the sky. Send your gaze forward. Don't crane your head and neck back. Again, we don't want to compress those nerves. Exhale. Pull your belly all the way up to the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Tuck your tailbone under. Inhale. Lengthen. Drop that belly. Exhale. Round. Find a nice flow connecting your breath to that movement. A nice fluid motion going through your spine. We don't want anything to feel forced or choppy because then you'd probably just look like you're, you know, doing the robot dance. <laughs> Let's do one more. And then come all the way back into our neutral tabletop position here. Take a big inhale in. Step that left foot back. Really press your heel towards that back wall. We're going to shift our body weight forward, extending over our fingertips, and then press it back, getting a nice stretch. You'll feel it in your calf through the back of your leg. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Great. Extend that leg out to the side, bringing your foot flat onto the ground. Inhale. Shift forward. Exhale, sink your hips back. Inhale forward. You might want to curl your toes under. Exhale, sink it back. We'll both get a stretch through the inner thigh and through that right foot. Keep it going. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do two more. Last one. Great. Bring that leg back in. We're going to extend our right toes out this time. Really point that heel to the back wall. Inhale, shift weight forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. In, out. We'll do two more. Last one. Awesome. Send that right leg all the way out. Bring the bottom of your foot down onto the floor. Curl your left toes under. Inhale, forward. Exhale, sink it back, slow and steady. Inhale, exhale, in, out, keep it going. Two more. Last one. Great, come back into our neutral tabletop. You can sit back onto your heels, take the pressure out of your wrists for a second. You've got a lot of flexion there. So if you're already waking up and all you've done is barely put yourself together and have coffee like me, my wrists are feeling it, right? So you can take one hand to the other hand, give them a little stretch here. 
You can lift your fingertips towards you, flex them away. Just giving our hands a little extra love this morning. And when you're ready, we'll come back into that tabletop position. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes in to touch. I want you to bring that right hand underneath of your nose. And as you inhale, we're going to glide that left hand across our body. Open it up to the ceiling. You always have that option to drop that hand down to the hip, though. Tuck your tailbone under here. Like, really make it dramatic. So we're getting a nice line through our spine. Inhaling in. And out. Are you smiling over there, you guys? And it's a fantastic day. So what else should we do? We should smile. In my brain, I'm trying to just focus on this, nothing else. Smiling, breathing, being content with everything that's going on right now. Big inhale at the top. Exhale, we're going to tap that hand down to the right. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. One more. Great. Go ahead and plant that left hand this time. And with your next inhale, glide that right hand across your body, opening it to the ceiling. Tuck that tailbone under here. Lift up and out of that left arm. Focus on your breath. Big inhale in and out. You can play around and moving your head around, getting a little extra stretching in your neck. Find what's comfortable for you. Don't be scared to play around with the pose. Right? There's so many variations that we can do within all of these. And again, we're all different, right? So we got to find exactly what is useful for our own bodies. Big inhale in. Exhale, tap that hand down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Go ahead and plant that hand down. Come back into our neutral tabletop position. We're going to curl our toes under. Inhale, lift those knees, hover for two breaths. Inhaling in, exhale, let it go, pull your abs in, inhale, exhale, inhale, send your hips to the sky, downward dog, pull your chest towards your thighs here, bring your ears right in between your biceps, it's okay if you have a bend in your knees, in time you'll get to where you can lengthen them, it's not about showing up being perfect or, you know, nailing an audition. It's about working with your own body over a period of time and noticing all of the subtle changes that are going to happen. One day, all of a sudden, you're going to go through a flow and you're going to be like, wow, my knees were never bent once. You know, and it's one of those things that just comes to us and we're not mindful of that gratitude and we can miss it. So that's why it's nice to show up be grateful, be still, focus on that breath. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, walk yourself to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, bring your hands onto your shins. Get a nice straight back through your back, through your legs here. Inhale, exhale, release your upper body over your lower body, forward fold. You can have a nice big bend here so we can open up through that low back. Tuck your chin into your chest. Allow your neck to relax here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Inhale. Glide your hands up to your shins, coming into our halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, we're going to slow and steady, roll all the way up to standing. Working through your legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling up through that low back, mid back, upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down, and lengthen through your neck and your head. Open your palms to the wall in front of you. Go ahead and close your eyes for a minute. Come into our alignment, tucking that tailbone under, chin pulling back in space. Take a big inhale in. And out. One more just like that. Great. Inhale. Open your eyes. Bend your knees. Drop your hands down. Draw a big circle as you stand all the way up. Give me a slight back bend here at the top. Exhale. Forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant those palms. Step one foot back and then the other. You can always drop down onto your knees if you need to modify, and you can always skip any plank or chaturanga and move right into a child's pose. And the rest of you, really focus on your breath. Big inhale in and plank. As we exhale, keep your elbows into your side. Slowly start releasing your body down in the mat. Bring that belly down, uncurl your toes. Inhale, lengthen through your arms, drop your shoulders down your back. Upward dog. Exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat. Send your hips to your heels, child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. Use your arms to press back in space, dropping your hips a little closer to your heels here. Everyone's going to be at their own height with where their heels are, and it's okay. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in. And out. Bring a smile back onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next breath, find your flow into a tabletop and then all the way up in the downward dog. Slow and steady. We're not in a race. Make sure we're dropping those shoulders back and down our spine, pulling our chest towards our thighs here. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale. Look forward. Bend your knees. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. Palms together, bring them to your heart. Take a breath here. Great, go ahead and step to the center of your mat. We're gonna open our legs as wide as we can. Take a big inhale in, standing up tall, bringing your hands right onto your hips. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold, sending your hips to that back wall, releasing your head down towards the mat. Keep your toes pointed forward here. Inhale. Press your fingertips into the ground, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean over to the right, walk your hands towards that right foot, lengthen through that left leg here. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, drop it to the left this time, walking your hands over. Keep that going with your breath. Go side to side for a couple breaths here. Again, stretching through our legs. Keep your spine nice and straight here. You don't want to just hunch forward. And then come back to center. Inhaling in. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands onto your hips. Bend your knees slow and steady. Roll all the way up to standing. Inhaling in. And now, inhale, open your arms as wide as you can. Exhale, we're going to sink it down. Tap that left hand to your right toe. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, send it over to the left this time. Inhale, exhale. Keep your opposite arm lifted as you sink the other towards your foot here. Do one more each side. Last one. 
Great. Bring your hands all the way up in front of you. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Turn your feet and your body towards the front of your mat, coming onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale, shift your weight forward, making sure that front knee is over that ankle. Look forward. Exhale, drop that knee, your back knee down, uncurl your toes. We're going to bring our right hand inside of that right leg. Inhale, press through your fingertips, lengthen here. Exhale, come down as far as you can. If you can only slightly bend your elbows, great. If you can come down closer to your forearms into our lizard pose, great. Find what's comfortable for you here. Inhaling in, trying to keep this right foot down on your mat. Inhale, and exhale. One more. Awesome, use your hands to press you all the way back up. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhale, slow and steady. I want you to lift that left leg off the mat. Use your left hand to ground you and reach that right arm back behind you. Maybe you can grab your foot, or maybe you just pull that arm back, look over that right shoulder. Or you can grab that foot, try to pull your leg towards your body here. Inhaling in and out. And you can play around on what side of the foot you'd like your hand to hold. One more breath here, getting a nice stretch through that front thigh. Exhale, slow and steady. Bring your hand forward, catching yourself. Release that leg down. We're going to sweep our right leg all the way back and send ourselves right in the child's pose. Drop that forehead all the way down. Inhaling in and out. Allowing your heart rate to lower. Letting that breath normalize here. Inhale. Exhale. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. Next inhale, find your flow all the way up to plank and work your way all the way up into downward dog and welcome Finn and Lenny. They've officially arrived. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, look forward, bend those knees, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Hands to your heart. Step to the center of your mat. Open your legs as wide as you can. Sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. I'm gonna have you drop your hips down. You can walk your feet in just slightly first. Angle your toes outward. Drop your hips down here. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Press your elbows into your knee. Now, if you can't drop your hips as low as I can, that's okay. You can always stay lifted. Just keep that chest lifted towards the ceiling here. Inhaling in and out. I want you to bring that left hand by the left foot. Open your right hand to the sky here. Inhaling in, and as you exhale, we're gonna drop that right hand down to the right foot. Open your left hand to the ceiling here. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here. Exhale, bring it down, hands to center, send your hips to the sky, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, come on to the fingertips of your left hand. Open that right arm to the ceiling. Holding it here, focusing on your breath. 
exhale, bring that right hand down, extend your left arm up, keeping your hips nice and straight here. Again, finding where you'd like that gaze to go. Inhaling in, exhale, bring it down, forward fold. With that next breath, we're gonna turn ourselves to the left side of our mat, coming onto the ball of that back foot. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, shift your body weight forward, keeping that knee over the ankle. Exhale, lower that back knee down, uncurl those toes, bring your right hand, or your left hand inside of that left leg. Take a big inhale in, plant that palm. Exhale, walk your hands forward, releasing your forearms down towards the mat, coming into our lizard pose. Inhaling in, this is a very deep stretch for your hips, so monitor yourself, don't strain anything, and just breathe. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here. Use your hands to help press you back up. Inhale, lengthen through that spine. Look forward. Exhale. And plant that right hand slow and steady. Lift that right heel towards your body and reach that left arm back, looking over that left shoulder. Again, maybe you're just here. Or you can eventually try to grab your foot. Pulling that heel closer to your body here, getting a nice stretch through the front part of your thigh. Inhaling in, open your chest to the sky, look to the ceiling. Exhale, one more breath here. Great, slow and steady, release that arm forward, drop your toes down. And again, send that left leg back, send yourself into child's pose. It looks like Lenny has already beat us there. Drop your forehead down in the mat, close your eyes, take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhaling in. And out. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today, but this time be a little more specific. Inhale, glide your hands underneath of your shoulders, press your upper body away from the floor, come into a kneeling position, sitting your hips back onto your heels here. Sit up nice and tall in your spine, take a big inhale in, and exhale, release those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right, bringing that right arm back behind you and your left hand right to that mid thigh. Look over your right shoulder here. Focus on your breath, feeling the weight of your body get a little heavier into your mat as you start to slow it down. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the left this time. Look over that left shoulder. <clears throat> Inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Exhale, release them down to your side. We're gonna bring our legs out in front of us. Bring your butt all the way down to the floor. Extend your legs out in front. And actually bring your, the heels of your feet, bottoms of your feet down to your mat. Take a big inhale in, sit up nice and tall, catching your knees. Exhale, release your body back until you feel your abs engage. Open your palms to the wall in front of you. 
Inhale, shift forward, lengthen through your spine. Keep those shoulders back and down. Inhale, send it back. I want you to lift one foot and then the other. If you can only get an inch off the floor, that's okay. In time, you'll be able to lengthen them farther. And if you have even more skill, you can try to lengthen your legs, pointing your toes towards the ceiling. We just don't want to collapse in our spine here. Keep nice and straight. Pull your knees towards your chest. Find the stretch that's comfortable for you, feeling your abs engaged. Inhaling in. Exhale, release an inch. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Send it all the way down to the floor. Release your arms up and overhead here. And as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Bring your hands down towards your hips. Catch your knees. Lift that tailbone off the mat. Getting a nice little massage through your back. Inhaling in. Exhale. Plant those heels down. Walk your heels a little closer to your hips. I want you to bring your hands onto your mat, palms down right by your hips. Inhale. We're going to lift our hips off the mat. Pull your legs in towards the center. Really lift your hip points towards the ceiling here. Inhaling in. Exhale. Release it all the way down. Inhale. Lifting. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Hold it here. You can stay right here if this is enough for you. Or you can try to lift one leg, straighten it. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Opposite leg. Exhale. Release. We'll do that a couple times. Or again, you can just stay with your hips lifted, feet planted on the ground. Focus on your breath here. Stare at something right on your ceiling. One more, each leg. Last one. Everyone release your hips all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little lift here. Inhale, holding here in the center. Bring your palms together right in the front of your heart. And I want you to send your fingertips through your knees. Catch the outside edge of your feet. Inhale, send the bottoms of your feet all the way up to the sky. Happy baby pose. Explore here. Get a little rock side to side. Play around just like you would see a toddler on the floor enjoying life. Right? Why can't we do that as adults? Oh, guess what? You can. I give you permission. To just hang out. You can allow the weight of your arms to release your legs down towards the ground. Or again, you can bend one, lengthen one, move your hands around on your feet, feel the difference, feel the stretch that you're going to feel through your legs, through your arms as you start to play around with that positioning. One more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the bottoms of your feet together, release them to the center of your mat. Allow your hands to come right onto your hip creases here. Inhaling in. Exhale, press your hands right into your thighs. You're going to feel a little opening in that low back, traction in our spine. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. Out. Great. Use your hands to help lift your knees back up. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little tug. Inhaling in. And as you exhale, release that right leg down. And then your left. So we come into our Savasana pose. We're going to stay here a little longer than usual. So those of you that have Join the practice several times. You're getting to the point where you're like, man, that wasn't long enough. So snuggle your shoulder blades underneath of your chest here. Let your hands just fall to the floor. Let your feet fall open as wide as your mat. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. 
And again, as we lay here in Savasana, letting every single thing go and just being still, if you notice that your mind starts to wander, I want you to just start counting your breath, holding your attention on your breath in this stillness. So one on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, Keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again. With your next inhale, unwiggle your toes, your rock through your legs, wiggle your fingertips, rock through your arms, turn your head left and right, and when you're ready, open your eyes. And we're going to turn onto our sides facing me, use your arm as a pillow here, and we'll all take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, press yourself up and away from the floor. Come into a nice cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, eyes closed, hands in your lap. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring your palms all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Be present. Be still. One more big inhale in. 
And exhale, folding ovarian. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining for this very gentle, relaxing yoga this morning. Sometimes we come into this not knowing what we're going to get, and that's the beauty of this practice, is you, you move with the energy, you feel it out as you go, and you're just completely present. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and um, you got to see the pets today. Lenny's sitting right over there, probably slightly off camera, <laughs> but um, I look forward to our next session, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Have a fantastic day.